What's up everyone? In this video, I just want to do something kind of out of the box. Basically, I am printing this Benchy with just pure solar power. All right, so here are my solar panels. I have those two bigger ones are 160 watts and that skinnier one is 100 watts for a total of 420 watts of solar power. This is a bit overkill for what I need. However, this is just in case there is a little bit of cloud cover or shade hits one of the panels, I still have enough power to print. From there, it goes into this device right here, which is a DC to DC step down transformer high power voltage regulator. This thing can handle 15 amps. So basically, a solar panel will produce, like my solar panels right now are producing 20 volts. Well, if I wanted to go through an inverter, that is 12 volts I just I can't do that so basically I have to step it down to 12 volts so I use that step down to step it down to 12 volts and it goes into the inverter right here and I have a watt gauge right here so I can see how much watts and amps and voltages voltage I, I'm using and currently I'm only using 44 watts so I'm not using the heated bed and I'm only using one heated extruder. If I use the heated bed it's going to use a lot more watts. And then from the inverter it goes straight to the printer as you can see here. And everything is working and as long as there's no clouds or shade hits those solar panels everything should be perfect. And I'll do a time lapse of the print and we'll see if it's actually successful. Now I'm going to note again that I am not using a battery backup. Normally you would use a battery backup and this is what I have. Here is my solar generator. It's a 210 amp hour battery backup and it, the inverter is a thousand watts continuous and 2000 watt surge. And I, this thing's helped me out in power outages before. I have two safety switches to turn on, and I connect, can connect it to my solar power panels. Now, normally, if you're using power, you're not going to plug directly in the solar panels. You're going to plug into this type of solar generator, which will then be plugged in directly to your solar panels. That way, it's charging it as you're using it for your household items, whatever it may be. So here I just wanted to kind of show you how much power is being produced by the solar panels. So this wire goes straight into the solar panels. So on the multimeter when I plug it in, it's going to show about 20 volts. Yeah, so 20.37 volts. And that's what's coming out of the solar panels when they're and they're just parallel plugged into each other. So when you buy a solar panel and it says 12 volts more than likely they're not producing 12 volts you're gonna you're gonna need to plug them into some sort of solar charger and so when I plug them into my step down voltage and no matter if the voltage fluctuates it will remain 12 volts unless it goes below 12 volts and then it can't produce 12 volts but yeah so this will keep it at 12 volts even if it goes higher or even if it goes 15 volts, 20 volts, it'll still keep it at 12 volts, 12.48 volts like you see here. And this is how I'm able to plug it into the inverter and conduct that print. Let's go to a time lapse. Alright, so that was a quick time lapse and it actually printed. I was actually really proud of this, being able to print with just pure solar power, no battery backups or everything, anything. I'm getting the Zone Star pretty calibrated. I'm actually really impressed with the quality that the Zone Star actually prints. And my first layer was just perfect. I mean, there's a little string, and I could fix that later. But man, it, it this this printer, I really like this printer. Um, this is one of the good ones, and it's dual extruder, so I can do multicolor as well. So it's it's a really good quality printer. I would say it's actually comparable to the Creality CR10. But anyways, that concludes my video. Just a quick video. Just wanted to show you that I can print with just pure solar power. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And thank you guys for watching.